Okay, you can see my screen. I got that. So let me let me head down to um, the screen I want you to see. So this is the the video I shared for you to create an account on Scratch. I want to show it to you now so that um, you would be able to do it on your own. And I've already shared with you the essence of why I am um, clamoring for you to have an account on Scratch. Let me just stop this full screen and, uh, so that I can move it to where. Okay, good. It's now showing well. So now, I, I, in, in that document I shared, I said visit scratch.mit.edu. You, you, you will then join Scratch. Okay, everyone here too has joined Scratch. We want to have our community also on Scratch where you can share your projects and I can I can see it. So I'm going to create an account. I have a, a, a student here. How time will permit us? Because she wants to show you how to create a Scratch game. Well, first of all, let me create an account. Okay? So I will just call it Brain Branded. And then I want to specify a password for it. So I will type that password again. Oh, I'm not sure what I type. Let me just show it. Um, let me let me type it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm repeating what I type. And then once I have specified my name, I can then now. Oh, okay. So let me save it. So I will have to select my country. Can you see my screen? Can you confirm yes, it? Yes, Okay. Let me. Somebody said I've not admitted them. Okay, Aisha and Abdullah. Yeah, welcome to class. I'm so sorry. My system was, um, my internet was out. So that was why it appeared as if I left it for too long. So we just, we just actually got started. And what we are doing is I'm creating a, a Scratch account on Scratch website. So I'm going to pick the country I live in. You can do Scratch without online, all right? But we want to build a community. So I'm going to pick the month I was born, so I will just pick June, and then I would like to make myself really younger. So let me just pick 2011, and then just so just put your your month and then your your year. That's just the information it needs. So I'm a female, then I would uh, pick this. Of course, you pick male if you are male, and then I pick on this. So I then need to enter my email. This is in my video. I I said because you will need to confirm that email but if your mom already keeps an email for you she can always help you to confirm that email it's good to actually keep email you know, I do that so when they grow older I can just give them the account so I will say create create your account so this is it so I'll click on get started so it says welcome to scratch brain branded and then I already got an email. So I will need to confirm that email. I have an email asking me to confirm my account. So I'll click on get started. Then I will then go to my email to, to confirm it. So I'm opening a new tab. I will come back to tell you about the Scratch environment. So let me just go to my email to confirm it, confirm my account. So I'm loading my Gmail. Are we still together? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So I click on, you can see my email has arrived, so it's asking me to confirm my account. 
so I want to confirm my account. So with this inbox now, I will just click on this confirm my account. So yes, he then brought it again. It's already saying welcome. So once I confirm my account, it brought another inbox again. And this is the inbox. It's, ask, it's saying, um, as you welcome, welcome to Scratch. So let me quickly admit this person. Okay. Okay, bow here. So I want you to pay attention to it. I also have Scratch on my computer and I will be launching that. Oops. It's just simple as it sounds. The one for sound, the one for events, when you want it to do things. The one for control. The one for sensing. The one for operators, variables, and then my blocks. All right, and these are the menu. You can always bring tutorial into my environment. This is my environment now. I can bring tutorial from Scratch website. If I click on it now, I'll be able to uh, bring in the tutorial. Okay, let me have this person. Okay, good. So let me head back to this my scratch. So I can bring in just something simple so that we can get make sense out of this. So if my tutorial is here, it's because I'm also online. My system is online, all right? I can play it, I can learn from it. You will hear the lady to, you know, perform what I am watching in my tutorial, okay? So that's just for me to show. Now, let me head back to the one I have on the browser. It's nothing, it's, it's not different from what you are seeing here, okay? Which is here. Okay, I've already confirmed my email, so let me just uh, close this tab and then come to the one here we have already confirmed my email so before we go to the scratch to get to the scratch environment just by clicking on the to create but here in the scratch it says welcome to scratch okay it's, it's a community of all ages from all over the world so make sure your projects and comments are respectful and friendly so you can see why you need to bring your project here your friends who are in canada who are your cousins your brother your friends who are in Canada, they are using Scratch in their school. And you are not left out. Today, during our OPA class, I shared with them how to be internet conscious. And I can just quickly drop that tip here. So that you are not, mommy and daddy are not afraid to say, oh, go online, be on Scratch community. Because you already know that you are safe. And certain feature is already turned on. So for, for one takeaway, before I continue, I'm going to click on a new tab and say, you are going to just ask your mommy or to do this slash um, safe search. It will confirm the status of my email. Oh, I save. I hope my internet is not. Um, okay. Okay, I'm still connected. Um, let me just quickly check what it is. The idea is basically to ensure that, okay, so I, I'm still going to share it in the WhatsApp group just to ensure that your your browser is, is pretty safe for use. So this is the presentation I had with them in the morning. I just want to see what I typed earlier. Okay. Um, I think it should be here. Okay. Save search. So with that, you should just select filter. So filter is able to filter out explicit images. So you are not seeing what would, you know, what is bad, what is not ideal for you to see. By default, it's always blur. It will be there, but blur. You won't be able to see it still. But it should not even show in your search at all. That's what filter is. So that way you are safe. So let's head back to our scratch now in the scratch community you can see it says welcome so let me just say okay let's go this is where you explore you see all other projects ideas this is where you get idea from this is just about scratch 
In this icon here, this is where your own stops are. If I click on this where I have my brain branded uh, username, I can come to my profile, I change my avatar, my, my image, I can just, you know, pick it. If I pick on it, I will be able to see change and I can select another image in my computer and change it. Here, I can write about me. So if I just say, I am a young dead stars texter. So now, you can see this new scratcher. It's just it's there because I am just pretty much very new here. I am I am new. I have not used it before. Okay. And what am I working on? So I am working on about me. So this is about when I when I take about four weeks on this scratch where I am commenting on other people's project. I am here. I am remixing project. I am learning. Okay. You know, so you, I hope you have been, I've been able to establish to you why I needed to be on this community. You can use your scratch on here, on your lookout. But here you will see tutorials, you'll be able to do more. And you can exhaust the scratch and move on to other programming language because it, it really creates, it really gets you curious and you can do way more. Because I have folks here who know how to use scratch very well, who've done extensive you know, designs, projects, games on Scratch, and I've watch, and I've also share it in the community. So that's why I'm I am put, putting that to you. So this is where you have your own share project. Any project that you create, you want can share with the community. These are projects that you like. They are the one on favorite, and this is whoever you are following. So if you create your account now, share me your username. I will start following you. So any project that you share, I will be able to see it. So for here now, I can turn off commenting. But I want to leave it on so that I can get feedback from other community users. You have young guys like you using Scratch. So that is that is about it on my profile. Okay? Let me just hope that my meeting is not... Um, and I'm back to the home. This is for the Scratch news. This is just me trying to show you around. Learn how to make, you know, projects. This is... You have tons and tons of resources. Surfing, be my best friend, for instance, now. I will be able to see um, what that person has created. They might share how they made it. And because I know how to do it as well, I can remix it and see what kind of commands they use. All right? How did they make use of their code blocks? If you remember the way we went about um, our, our um, flowchart, our algorithm, that's exactly how it is. So for you to do any project, you actually need to plan it out. Plan it out first, first of all. You can either type it on your computer or you want to write it. So if I need to make a project about ping pong, you will see all the templates. I want to let you know how to use, you know, maximize it. Let's say, for instance, I want to use, do pong game, which is part of... Why is it taking time to load? <laughs> I hope you can still hear me because my internet is messing up at this time. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you for confirming that. Because I'm wondering why it's taking forever. I just wanted to show you a project that you can remix. Just showing you around. Then we now create a simple project. And then I want to let you know that we use, you are going to even use the tutorial in Scratch to make your own game, to make your own project. So I want to even start calling it project. Not, it's not just only for game. You can see this one now, this surfing um, by Be My Friend. Use a name that is actually not your name. Don't use Angela. Don't let it be your exact name. Just use a name. It can be AN2345 or just simple English. Like me, now I'm using Brain Branded. It's just English. It's just the company's name. And it's just, you know, it's, it's not Brahmat. Okay, don't use your exact name because these are some of the internet safety use and uh, Tamil or I can be Tam or whatever Tam, Tam Tam, you know, something fun and, you know, cozy, just short and sweet like that. So look at this now. If I click on this, I play it. You can see it's not a game, but it's a presentation. And see the number of likes, 1,267. You can even, mommy can help you to promote it like, oh, see what Angela made and it's on scratch. The link of this can be shared, you can see. If I copy the link, I can share it. They can, people can get to see it. 
So you see why you don't want to limit yourself on the scratch on your computer alone. You want to express yourself. If I like this project now and I want to remix it, this is one of the benefits of joining the scratch community. I can then now go ahead and remix it. But I'm not doing that right now. So let's quickly go here and um, and and create something. So it should not take forever to load again. <laughs> okay, I think it's loading. Now you can see the way it's loading the block. It's like puzzle, you know, puzzle game where you are stacking the blocks together. Once you stack it together, you are passing instruction to it, and you pass instruction to it, and it again execute that instruction. So here now, there is a there is a very popular um, um, instructor in the Scratch environment. I think I, I can't remember her name, but I think it's Vela or something like that. Zina, Zina good. <laughs> Zina, yes, you can, you can, okay, good, you can hear one of the students beside me, so she's really excited to say, yes, I want to join your class, and I want to really say something to the rest of my friends online, so I'm going to have her show us how to do, um, about me, okay, but before then, let me just show you a few things, for some of us who already know how to use Scratch, does anybody, let me know, do we all know how to use Scratch, or I can just, speak it higher or tone it down do we all know how to use scratch let me let me hear your responses um let me hear from abdul, abdul. I've used that before, I know. okay have you taken it to the community i know how to use the basics of scratch okay. okay good okay but abdul salam have you taken your scratch to the community no. Okay, so have you been able what to... Did you say? I don't have to use it. Okay. What about Yoma? Did, he, did I hear your voice? Do you know how to use Scratch? No, I cannot use Scratch. Okay. Uh, what yeah. about uh, Banke? Can you use Scratch? No. Okay, thank you. I want to hear from Uluwa Tony Yomoye. That should be Banke. If you cannot, um, if you cannot, okay, good, okay. But do you like the class? Are you enjoying the class? Yes, ma. Okay, thank you. Because the class is actually a build up from what we had the last time. Okay, is it Abdullah that doesn't understand or Aisha? I think it's because you were joining and in and out, so you may have been missing some part of it. Okay, it's Aisha. So, um, what we are talking about is, I'm sure you you actually did share how to make tea during our last class. This is the building block of what we are building today. I.e., in the sense that this is the is the the way to create solution to solve problem. So I'm craving tea, and I've asked you to create make tea for me. Then in your head, you know how you are going to go about to create that tea. Now, we are bringing it to the world of computing now. We are bringing it to Scratch. Scratch is not the only one that can do it for us. All right, there are other, um, other programming languages too that are visual. But we are doing, making use of Scratch right now just because you know, it's, it's, it's popular and then it has a lot of resources, okay? And it can really help you to, to solve problems. All right, so that's why we are doing that. Whose mic is on? Can you? Okay, everybody's mic is muted now. So I hope I've been able to help you around, um, Aisha. So before this class, we are to create an account so that we belong to the community. We want to belong to Scratch community. We don't just want it to stay on our computer alone. We want to take it further. And I'm, I want to tell you that being in the community and having Scratch as an app on your computer and with the tutorials there, I'm now referring you to the way we learned our Canva. You know, first of all, it's good to learn from others, to learn what other people have done. That way you develop more skills. So there are tons and tons of tutorials because our class is very limited. There are tons and tons of tutorials. So I want to now show you how to do that. But before then, I want, I'm, uh, I'm 
showing you the environment of Scratch. So I'm heading back to my screen now. So I showed earlier. So this is me repeating and choose and bring it on. You can see, and it's always come loaded with this cat. That's the default sprite. But I can choose my own. And then I told you where this cat is right now is the stage. That's where you showcase, like, and I use an analogy that, okay, when you are in the mosque, where your imam stays, or the church, maybe at the altar, where the pastor stays, and, you know, everybody is facing and looking at, you know, what is being presented. Or at the cinema, where maybe there's a stage play, you know, or when you are having something to, in your school, a party in school, you know, you have that stage play, or end of the year, that stage play, that is exactly where this cat is, a block, where I, where I present my code. Where I have the command view, where I, I ask it, okay, cat, move like this, cat, jump like this, you know, whatever I am thinking in my head. But here is the code blocks. The one for motion, you can see it is in blue color, if I want it to move. And it is very simple, move 10 steps, turn, you know, turn right, turn left, go to, go to X, glide, like move to this end, or move to this right, to the end of the stage. So you can see it's very simple. So they are the command. You will now command the cat to do certain things. Maybe to move up or move down. Those are that's motion. Look at another one, the one in purple. Looks. What do you want it to say? Do you want it to say something? Do you want it to think? So they are the instructions. This is where you now drag. Once you drag it and drop it here, then it will take action. So you can see different code. Alright? You have costumes. You have sounds all right so let's stay on the code now i want to bring in another sprite so did, did, did we get the basics now these are the basics you know oh i didn't mention this this is for you to start your project let it start run and this is for you to stop you will love it when you know how to use scratch you and you you really love it when you know and then to know how to do anything is to follow the instruction so we're going to just do a very, very few ones because I don't know. Let me check. Due to my internet, you know, messing up. I'm not sure if it says I have few minutes because it's already 153. Whereby I'm going to make up most of this in the video. Okay. So now I want to quickly change um, my sprites. To do that, I'll pick on this green icon that says I can search. So I'll choose a sprite. You can't forget that Sprite, like our Sprite that we drink, the, the, the fizzy drink that we drink. So, but before I come here, I already have an idea of what I want to do in my mind. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to just pick an item then. Um, the <laughs> the <laughs> Farida is her name, she's Farida's namesake. She also wants to like, yes, I can show them, I can show them. So she would, she would, she would come here now and then we'll show you together. Let me do one more thing before I pick it. Okay, let me just pick a sprite. Let me pick one. Let's say I pick this ball. Once I pick the ball, it will appear beside it. You can see. If I don't want it, I can just delete the ball. If I don't want this um, default sprite, so I can delete it as well. But I don't want to delete it yet. I can bring in, choose another. Choose. What I want to do is actually about me about my, my eyes. I want to say about myself. So this is me picking people. So it can just show me, you know, straightforward. Mm -hmm. Let's pick this ballerina. I did just something fun. And then it will appear here as well. It will appear now. I think it's taking time. Internet. Then to show, just um, let me check. I do okay. Which way still on? Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, it's, it's just because my internet is slow, so it's taking a little time to show. So now Farida is here. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I hope you can see our faces. Okay, so. Now let's go. We want to show everyone how to create about me. So now go ahead. Good afternoon everyone. 
My name is Lassisi Farida and I'm about to show you how to make an About Me project. Okay. So first of all, we're going to delete this. You want to delete the sprites? Yes. Okay. So we'll now go to the backdrops. Okay. okay. So there are different kind of backdrops that you can see. But I'm going to pick one. You can pick, pick any one that you want to pick. There's no need. Mm -hmm. Just pick one. I want to pick the hats. Okay. So my the internet is a bit slow. Okay. I'm going to get I'm going to choose a sprite. But I'm going to pick a sprite that you like doing. There's any sprite that you like to do. For example, I pick this um this um this um this ballerina because I like to dance ballerina um, sprites here. Now you're going to pick any one that you can just pick anything that you like. On the on the looks. So I want this because I want this sprite to say Hel hello or whatever you want, want it to, to say. See. So that action is in looks. It's the internet that is making it to be lead to drag. Are we still together? Yes, ma. Okay, good. Yes, ma. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma. Thank yes, ma. You. Yes, ma. Okay, so I have dragged it. You, you just hold it down. Drag the code block, right, into the into this area. And then, because I want this, my sprite, you know, I am what I am presenting is I want to have about me, about about I want to tell it about me. So I want it once I click the action, I want it to say what what do you want it to say? I want to say that I love you. Okay, so I type it I okay. I have to remove it. No. That space. Okay, so type what you want it to type. Okay. So you want to 